Australia Zoo and the Irwin family first got involved with the Ascidus Institute because of the opportunities on the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve in far north Queensland. 335,000 acres with some of the most unique plant life that you can find in Australia. We're here this week at the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve to collect plants from the unique environment that's on the reserve. We're going to collect annually and it gives us the opportunity to look at what the soil and the environment does to the compounds that are produced in the plants. They will then become part of Nature Bank, a larger collection of plants and marine organisms that we use to discover new potential therapeutic agents. Did you know that 30% of the drugs we use today come from nature? So we're hoping that we may find something contained in these plants that will treat current diseases, but diseases that we don't know about today. And we aim to preserve the samples we collect during our time here for the next 100 years and to provide those for the next generation of scientists, but also potentially to treat those diseases that we just don't know about today. We've brought the samples back from the reserve and we've dried them and ground them to a powder. And as you know, we collected around 100 grams of material and we've taken just one third of a gram that we're going to work up to extract the compounds that are contained within those. So that's a very small amount of sample and it means that we've got that collection, the remaining 99.7 grams to last for perhaps the next 100 years. And what we're doing here, we're passing solvent through the sample and we're obtaining an extract. We're obtaining compounds that are contained within that plant sample. It's possible that one of the compounds in here may offer a treatment for a disease that affects all of us. So this is just the first step. And from here, we're going to be able to take these samples, fractionate them, and then test them for disease models to see if they have potential as new drugs and you've seen the extraction process. It contains then maybe 100 compounds and we're separating those on this very little column here and we're separating them into individual components. Uh, that gives us a greater chance to find a biologically active compound and it's also the same process that we use to actually isolate one particular component that may have an interesting therapeutic uh, potential. You can see how well the samples are separated and we're looking for that component, that perhaps one compound contained in that complex mixture that may be biologically active. Now this is one of the samples we collected from the reserve, but as you know we've gone through that extraction and fractionation to prepare a library. And that library we look at the Ascidus Institute at disease targets, but we also supply that library to collaborators all around the world. And what we're attempting to do there is understand disease, work with people who understand the disease and use this wonderful resource that's obtained from the biodiversity of the Irwin Reserve and also the biodiversity of Australia to help look at cures for disease that affects mankind. It's such an exciting opportunity to honour Steve's legacy and look at the next 150 years of testing these samples to try to find treatments and cures for some of the diseases that affect humankind. I'm really proud to be part of this process and working with the Ascidus Institute. We've now seen the potential of the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve, the potential to find new therapeutic drugs, and we intend to go back on an annual basis. So we're now starting to plan next year's trip where we can take a larger team of people. And also it's great for our students so they can see the environment and can see when they come back the effect of the environment has on the compounds that are produced.